What's up, boys? We're taking a look at some NBA player props today over on Price Picks. Price Picks, if you guys don't know, definitely my favorite site to go ahead and use for player props. Use my code right there, DOMG, right there. Uh, when you guys sign up, they match your first pause up to $100, 100%. So I definitely recommend joining. A bunch of you guys have already been doing that. I seriously do appreciate you guys because it helps me out as well. When you guys do go ahead and sign up using my code, it's available in most states. So there's just, you got a pretty good chance of it being allowed in your state. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and try it out if you guys are already on Prize Picks. Great website. I use it all the time. Love it. Uh, also, the Patreon is in my description. If anyone is interested in that, $10 a month. I give you guys my daily picks every single day over there. But uh, that is in the description. I definitely recommend signing up to January 1st. Do not sign up now because it's going to charge you now and January 1st. So I definitely do not recommend doing that. Only do it on the 1st. So put a reminder in your phone or something or watch my video on January 1st and then that will remind you. But uh, yeah, also make sure you guys like the video and subscribe and turn post notifications. Those two things will help me out as well. Uh, I'll stop talking in a second here, but last thing, Discord. Uh, I got a free Discord in the description, so definitely check that out as well. Talk about a bunch of different player props over there for any sport, even esports. I mean, you can do anything on that Discord, so definitely join that as well. But uh, I'll stop talking now about all that stuff. Just had to get a couple things out of the way. The Patreon, the Discord, like liking the video and subscribing. And uh, yeah. And it's pretty much it. Promo code for price picks in the description. So let's go and check out some of these player props today. I got about five of them for you guys that I do like a little bit. So let's go ahead and start this off here. Let's go with the Detroit Pistons game. I believe the Heat game, by the way, may be getting postponed. It's in risk too. So do keep that in mind. But Sadiq Bay here, I like him a little bit over 18 and a half points. I have, by the way, this is not necessarily the picks that are going to be on my Patreon. Some of them do make it, some of them don't. It just depends. Usually when I'm doing these, I'm haven't looked very very much into these guys i'm almost doing research while recording so in a way i obviously do a little bit more before i post official plays and make entries but sadiq bay 18 and a half points 23 23 15 26 and 23 in his last five so four out of five hit rate in his last five pretty good averaging five uh 22 in his last five so pretty solid right there pistons going against the new york knicks so for once we're not going to get a pistons game that well it could still blow out there's been a lot of seven and a half point spread games that have been blowing out lately that Houston game the other night, man, Christian Wood killed a lot of people. Last night, two on free throws. <laughs> uh, it, Christian Wood has been screwing me pretty bad lately. I've got to stop taking his props. <laughs> but seven, seven and a half, anyways. Uh, seven and a half, uh, two on one and a half over under. So that's kind of a really, really low over under. Uh, spread is seven and a half, so it could potentially blow out. We'll see. Maybe Cade will play. But uh, power forward. Uh, for the Detroit Pistons going against the New York Knicks. Let's take a look at what the Knicks are allowing two power forwards. So New York Knicks, they're about in the middle. 21.10 is what they're allowing per game to power forwards, according to Fancy Pro's defensive first position. But uh, I think it could be a pretty good spot for him in today's game. Let's take a look at where number fire. It's a projection site uh, for some player props. But they have him at 17.1. So they like a lot of people on the under, by the way. I would not be surprised if most of these are under plays over on number fire today. But uh, they like him under 18 and a half points. I don't necessarily agree. I think he's had a really good hit rate in his last five. The thing to note is he did miss last time against the New York Knicks. So that's a little interesting. Uh, I got to look a lot more into this player prop. But, uh, I mean, hit rate's good. He did miss against the Knicks last time, which is kind of worrisome. Uh, the spread's a little bit bigger. Uh, no low over-under. So maybe this is one you just want to fade. I definitely got to look into more into that one, but probably not my favorite for the day. So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at more points here. Uh, this time in under, I like a lot of unders lately. Uh, this one's going to be kind of a sweat fest though because it's such a low number. But 11 and a half points for Robert Williams. I do believe Al Horford is back, if I'm not wrong. Uh, actually, let's take a look at that. So uh, yeah, Al Horford is back, so that is going to hurt Williams a little bit um, points wise. But no Jason Tatum, Schroeder, all these other guys. So. Got to take a look at what they've done, what he's done in games without these guys. But in games that Horford has played, he hasn't been very, very good. So I'm not sure if Tatum's going to affect him that much. It might, but uh, two out of five hit rate in his last five uh, has missed the last two games with eight and 11 against Minnesota and Milwaukee. So let's take a look at this here. Uh, so R. Williams center going against the Clippers. So let's take a look at center versus um the Clippers, so the Clippers, where are they at? So yeah, they're right, they're about right in the middle, 21.99. I always say don't really pay attention to the number, pay attention to more where they rank among other teams. They're actually kind of closer to the top, 
Um, almost. They're probably like ranked 12th or somewhere around there. Yeah, they're probably right around there uh, for points allowed to centers. So let's take a look where they like Robert Williams tonight for points. So they like him at 10.9. So they like him on the under just barely on this player prop. I agree. I do like him on the under. Uh, we'll see where he ends up tonight. But uh, yeah, Robert Williams. Could be a little, not a great game for him uh, with Horford back, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, Tatum's still out and all that. So, it's been, the NBA has been really, really weird with all the COVID stuff. You guys already know that crap. So, uh, let's go ahead and move on, though. Let's take a look at LaMelo Ball. This time, we're going to go with an under. Not for points, though. Let's take a look at his rebounds. So, seven rebounds. He has missed this four out of his last five. He's at five, five, six, ten, and four. He's going against Indiana tonight. So I'm not sure what he's done against Indiana in the past. I've not looked that much into it yet. But point guard against the Pacers. Three-point spread, 227 over under. So we kind of almost wanted this game to blow out. So he plays a little bit less. He is a young player, though. So maybe that's not even really a factor. But he's also kind of a star. So I don't know. But uh, three-point spread, 227 over under. 227 points. So a pretty good spread. Uh, not that really he's going to mess with the rebounds too much, uh, but it, it will not blow out. So at least it seems like it will not with three point spread, but uh, let's take a look at, so point guard going to the Pacers, take a look what they're allowing rebounds wise. So the Pacers are, they're actually allowing a lot of rebounds to the, uh, to the uh, point guard position here. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's one you don't really want to take. It's a good matchup for him rebounds wise, but uh, he's not been getting it done as of late. So sick averaging six in his last five. So, he needs seven to push, so we kind of need him to grab six here. But uh, I definitely don't think he'll grab eight. But, yeah, they like him at 6.9 rebounds um, against the Pacers. So, yeah, they like him on the under by point one. So this one, I do, I definitely don't think he'll grab eight. Seven. You don't really want to You don't really, really want to try for a push, but I don't know. I feel like that's one of the safer plays, I feel like. But uh, there's obviously a pretty good chance he could end up pushing. So, uh, let's take a look. I mean, that really just depends if you guys are okay with a push or not. I know some people are, some people aren't. It just depends. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at Bledsoe. So Eric Bledsoe, five and a half assists. Three to five hit rate in his last five, including the last three. So Brooklyn, uh, Denver, Sacramento, and then uh, the Spurs and Thunder, he has gone under. So going against Boston tonight. So five and a half assists for Bledsoe. Uh, let's take a look at that game here. So, already talked about this game one time, but six point spread, 209 over under, pretty low over under. Uh, spread shouldn't be, isn't that horrible. I'm really not worried about it until about seven points ish uh, is when the spread gets a little bit worrisome. I don't think this game will blow out, hopefully. But uh, so, Bledsoe, point guard, going against uh, Boston. So, let's take a look at assists against Boston. They're actually one of the harder teams against assists. So, not a great matchup for Bledsoe. Uh, let's take a look at this, though. Bledsoe assists. He's at five. So number five, like in everything under so far. I don't think they've like one thing on the over. So yeah, maybe we need to find a different projection site or maybe number fire is correct with all the unders. We'll see um, with number fire, but I don't know. Number fire is good a lot of the time. I like them a lot for NFL for sure, but uh, NBA has been, it's on and off sometimes. It just depends. But uh, yeah, like what's on the under. I like him on the over just a little bit. I think he can definitely grab six assists against Boston, assuming it's not a blowout or anything. Um, but we'll see. I mean, no Paul George or anything kind of helps his case a little bit. He should be getting a lot more playing time. So um, let's take a look at, I think we're only going to do one more. I could do more if I want, but I'm not sure if I do yet. Uh, let's take a look at Halberton. Uh, fancy score, 39. Five out of five hit rate in his last five. He had 48, 43, 50, 49, and 51. He's been getting this done really well. The only time he's he even came close to missing was by four points almost against Memphis. So 39 fantasy score for Tyrese Halberton. He's been killing this. So going against Dallas now, shooting guard. Uh, Two-point spread, 220 over-under. Really, I mean, that's kind of like right smack in the middle when you talk about over-unders usually. So it's not horrible. Um, you kind of want a little bit better than that, but I mean, I'm not really too worried about that. Two point spread is really nice. Uh, I'm definitely not worried about a blot in this one. Uh, but shooting guard going against Dallas. Let's take a look at that. So Dallas, what are Dallas allowing here? Did I see? Oh, they are one of the harder matchups. So they're, yeah, they're the fourth hardest against uh, fancy score for shooting guards. So 
that may be something to worry about a little bit. Uh, they allow a lot of blocks. That could be, if he could grab a block, that's three points. So, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, they're really good at limiting three-pointers and points and all that stuff. So, I'll take a look at what they think. Because they do, I, that's something that I really do like on number fire, though, is uh, that they have fantasy point projections. But this one, they like them at 33.7. I believe this is FanDuel, too. So, 33.7. Pretty sure that's what Price Picks uses. That's kind of, I think, the same thing. I'm pretty sure it is. But uh, they like them at 33.7. So, I don't know. They like them on the under, too. So, we'll see. They like him for only 14 points, 3.7 rebounds, 7.3 assists, 1.5 steals, 0.6 of a block with two turnovers. So, I don't know. Um, Halliburton, very, very good hit rate. A little bit of a tougher matchup today. Uh, let's take a look at the harder matchup, though. So, he went over against Golden State, though. He had 49 against Golden State. He killed that by 10 points, and that was the second hardest. So, I don't think he played Chicago in those last five. I'm not sure what he's done against them in the past. The Cavs. Uh, yeah, the Cavs are not on here. So, He's got it done before against harder matchups, but we'll we'll see what ends up happening tonight um, between the Kings and the Mavericks. So that could potentially be a good one. It is a harder matchup, though, so keep that in mind. But so nothing too crazy today over on Prize Picks, I don't think. Um, there's some that are questionable, you know, but uh, a lot of tough matchups out there. Uh, otherwise, smack in the middle. There's nothing that looks too too good. I feel like a lot of stuff that looks too too good lately has been killing us. So I don't know. Frank Jackson is on here. Two and a half assists. <laughs> That's interesting. I think the Pistons are down a ton of guys. I'm almost positive they are, actually. They're getting hit bad. Where are they at? Yeah, they got all these guys out. Caden might not play. Hey, he's starting a shooting guard against the Knicks. That's funny. Um, Horford assists are on here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, definitely check out Prize Picks. If you guys are interested in player props, I use it all the time. I love it. So that link is in the description. Use code DUMG when you guys do sign up. Uh, it really does help me out. When you guys use that code and it helps you guys out, match your first pot up to $100, 100%. So, pretty awesome. Appreciate watching, though. That's going to do it. See you guys next time. Goodbye.